psychologist or a horticulturalist. A horticulturalist has the understanding of why the leaf turns yellow. So if you want insight into that, you communicate with a horticulturalist or the, if you will, marine biologist. Mine is to do with society and our people. My dedication for the past two decades and a bit has been to know the interactions of our people since 1675 BC to date and to contribute to solving problems. So if folks or when folks want to learn how to solve problems in relation to our people on a structural level, that's where you see my face. Okay. So what I would ask you to do is to bear with the process because there is a lot that has to be learned. See, see, I met me at the tree. The new seven tissue. Yes, sir. What's the idea? I switched to a language called tree. And I said, right now, I can speak tree. But I know you hear me, but you don't understand what I'm saying. You see, my good friends, we hear a lot of things. We see a lot of things. But the question is, do we understand what we are hearing, what we are seeing? Those who look to solve problems take time to understand. Those who look to just be part of the conversation, just do that. Hop in the conversation with no solution. Or better yet, not being part of the solution. So that is when I engage. I engage with people who are committed to be a part of the solution. Yes, yes. Okay? So I would want to first honor and thank those who Are came before us, solution? our no. dear ancestors, yes, who we represent. I would like to honor and thank the Watoto, the children, who are the architects of continuing what must become. And I would like to acknowledge and give praise to your presence for being here today. Asante Sana, thank you very much. Right. I will begin by first asking a question. What color is this? White. White, right? Everybody knows this is white. No games, no gimmicks. This is serious. You've heard this conversation, Black Lives Matter, right? Black Lives Matter. So this color is white, right? Yes, sir. If I leave, what happened? What color is this? Black. Black, right? Okay. This color again? White. And this color? Black. All right. White. Black. Everybody? White. White. So easy. Black. <laughs> How many people in here? Bear with yourself. How many people in here are black? Just raise your hand. I'm brown. <laughs> How many are black? Again? My skin is black. My skin is brown. How many people in here? Brown, whatever. Actually, let me ask that question again. How many people are black again or have seen a black person? <laughs> and how many people in here are white or have seen a white person? Either or, you're white or you've seen a white person. What color is this again? White. What color is this? Black. Right. So, in relation to the color, how many people are this color? None. 
I've seen so many Dutch now. ones. <laughs> Maybe two. <laughs> <laughs> How many people have seen someone of this color? None. <laughs> this is Rasa. It was created by the Italian leadership in 1339. It was a code of conditioning the mind of inferior superior complexity. It is what a sociologist does. All you do to control things is you code them. It was then adopted by the Spanish leadership and then followed by the Portuguese. The French followed, then the English followed in 1500. It was calcified in the education and political realm in the 1800s. It was primarily seven European leaderships that adopted this ideology, which in turn was translated by the French as race, which became known as race. How many people, again, knowing your basic color codes are black? How many people have seen or are white? You see, my people, this is all leadership needs to do. They need to know who is controlling their mind. Who is controlling your mind? All you do, just ask a woman who is misinformed, will call herself a hoe. That is what a pimp needs to know. <laughs> it is very important that you begin to see life, not as you think you know it, but as it's been designed for you to show you don't know it. When you misidentify yourself, all it's telling leadership is that they're in control of your mind. You are adopting a mentality. The obvious thing is not a skin tone. So if you stand in the mirror every day and you see a brown complexion person of any hue in black and in being brown and then you misidentify yourself as black what that speaks to leadership is yeah. that you are a fool That's right. and a fool can keep complaining but a fool will never be part of any solution if one does not recognize the obvious every day and correct their cognition Mm -hmm. What other thing will they be able to recognize? This is my thing, sir. If you cannot see the obvious, the and believe you me, you not seeing the obvious, or one not seeing the obvious, it's not by coincidence, it's by design. Mm -hmm. It's called conditioning. Mm -hmm. How many of us in here know the story of Superman? Superman, come on. Where are you all going? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Superman is known to... Thank you, brother. <laughs> Superman is known to be what? Powerful, right? Mm -hmm. What does powerful mean? Powerful means the ability to what? Have to demonstrate. The, what, what were you saying, brother? Have the ability to do things that There you go. That's powerful, right? The ability, according to my good brother, to do things others can do. What is power then? Having the ability. Having the ability. So powerful is having the ability to, to do be, what others can do. To be influential. To be influential? Yeah. Okay. To be able to control. Control, so absolutely. To be able to control. That's power. Mm -hmm. That's what you say, power, mm -hmm. right? All right. Black power, you've heard that before. Mm -hmm. Black power, we are still talking about the same issues. You know those who control affairs are like, <laughs> there goes those people who we are controlling. Superman is, has power, but Superman is only powerful when Superman <clears throat> is not by one thing. <laughs> that is the people of Al Kabulan. Al Kabulan is the name of the people and the land misrepresented as Africa. Mm -hmm. Al Kabulan means three things man of mankind, mother of creation, and land of the spirit people. You are Al Kabulan 
Al-Kabulan, Al-Kabulan. There is no Al-Kabulanian. There is no Al-Kabulini. Al-Kabulan represents the land. Al-Kabulan represents the people. Al-Kabulan represents the culture. Africa is a European imposed name by the name of Leo Africanus. I mean, what do you call it? Just as here in America, we have Vespucius Americus, who was the mentor of what? Christopher Columbus. And I may pose a name to you by the name of Istanbul Colon. You would not know Istanbul Colon. Why? Because he had to be anglicized. That is Christopher Columbus, his name in Spanish. Know that when somebody takes something that doesn't belong to them, yeah. the first thing they have to do is misrepresent it. A car thief does not steal a car and drive it around the same. The first thing the car thief does is they take that vehicle into the garage. For 411 years, 568 to be precise, our people all around the world, including the mainland of Al Kabulan, have been in garages <laughs> called asylums, called the United right. States, called England, called Spain, called Belgium, called Holland, called Portugal, called Italy. They've been conditioned. They've been literally, as our late and great ancestor Dr. Emma Wilson says, they've been literally put out of their mind. You see, my good people, talk. you cannot live beyond yourself image. You only live like my son. Yes, within your it. image. So it's if your image of self him. is a false sense of personhood, what you do is you serve the one holding the strings, the perfect master. What you think is not, it doesn't matter. It's what you do. What you hate does not matter. It's what you do. What you talk about does not matter. It's what you do. Action. That is why those who do are always the target. It's not those who say. Right. That's not the king. That is why those who do do not waste their time. With those who just want to sing Kumbaya. Come on, man. All right. You have to understand that how come we talk about the United States of America, but we don't talk about a terroristic regime? Because you've been taught a language by the very leadership who admired their predecessors who were degenerate. Mm -hmm. You cannot call, as I was sharing with some good people a few days ago, call a bank robber a withdrawer. If you don't label someone for what they are, your mindset cannot be in a position to address them or address issues the way they should. You cannot call someone who takes a gun to take money from the bank and account holder. It's either you're misinformed or you just don't know. And our people over centuries have been made just not to know. That is why when we speak, when we engage, it's not accusatory. It is praise that under the asylum, the regime of the United States and other bigoted <laughs> institutions, our people have survived. Ooh, AK, you call it the United States? The regime? A Jew in their right mind will not call Hitler's regime anything but. But you've been taught to admire the very sick But your brother, the son of Al Kabulan, is here to teach you around. Yes, yes. You have to understand, Superman cannot be made powerless. Superman engages with kryptonite and kryptonite drains. 
his ability along with superwoman. The same thing we have to understand the kryptonite of Al-Kabulan. The kryptonite of al is ignorance. And you have to know the source of ignorance. Bruce Lee said this, I may not live to know it all, but one thing I do know is the source of my ignorance. You see, when you know the source of your ignorance, you don't waste time. You don't waste time. Eurocentricism is the source of ignorance. In Eurocentricism, one is acculturated with two things, alienation from self and fear. Alienation from self and fear. One is made a coward and one is made impatient. A coward and an impatient person produces a desperate man. A desperate mentality can always be made. So it is not about trying to have my brother here like me. I don't give a hoot if he likes me and doesn't. Those who bring terrorism to our descendants do not give a damn whether you like them or not. It's about his intention. That's all I care about. Al Kabulan will embrace and teach anybody that is willing to learn and means well. Willing to learn and mean well. If you are not about this, you should know that there are heavy consequences. Because that, that child is who we stand here for, on the shoulders of those who've come before. If one wants to continue serving Eurocentricism, oh, but how do I serve Eurocentricism? One is a coward. Every time they interact with the culture, their heads are bowed down. Every time they interact with anything al kabulan they need a justification, a reasoning. That shows a coward and fickle mentality. So the first thing to do give you two things. The first thing to do is to begin to identify yourself properly. There are only three peoples in this world. The first peoples are Kabulan, a civilization of 160,000 plus years. The second people, Asia, a civilization of almost 50,000 years. And the third people, Europeans, a civilization of 8,000 years. So there are no white people. There are no black people. Those are codes. They are not skin tones. What you say is you are al kabulan And this is what you do. When you sign any documentation, know that racism is not a person. Racism is a system mm -hmm. of color codification that produces ignorant mentalities. Mm -hmm. When you sign any document or you identify yourself on any document, you cross it out. The first thing you put is human. Or you put right. al human race. I'm That's telling you, right. that throws human race. the system off. That's the first thing. The second thing, you identify people by who they are, not a code that they've been given. So you say, I'm al kabulan I'm a descendant of al kabulan That person is European or a descendant of European. Or that person is Asia or a descendant of Asia. Those are the only three peoples in this world. Everything else, all the Haitian, Bahamian, Ghanaian, Nigerian, all those are what we call puppets. That's the first thing you do. The second thing you do is you switch off the Eurocentric noise and begin to learn what our couple is. If you are listening to five musicians at the same time, do you hear any of them? Do you appreciate any of the songs? You switch off and begin to listen to one song at a time. And we teach you how to do that. 
how to focus and begin to learn how to learn. Because you will not live to know it all, but you will begin to learn what you need to to set the next generation in the place they need to be. My good friends, my good brothers and sisters, I go to places my name, initial AK. It's been a pleasure communicating with you. Anybody that wants to keep in touch with our organization, our organization, you go through my sister. You don't reach me there. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. And I think they wanted some time for questions or not. Open it up for any questions for Dr. AK at this time. We have a few minutes if anyone has any questions. How can I bring this knowledge that you brought to us today to my business? To your business. Regardless of what my business is, how would I bring that to my business? Excellent. The first question is like the last part. Regardless of what my business is, and I think another man was saying there are two million owned businesses by black people, right? Um, earlier on, and we have to understand business is activity that facilitates something. Okay, so your business facilitates something. The first question to ask is my business, my activity facilitating the strengthening of the mind of the people. That's the first question, because you can have a business that is actually weakening the minds of the people. So one cannot take the Akabula narrative into something that is weakening. So an activity that you are first engaged in, the first question is to assess what is doing to the minds of the people. And then you can then say what you need to do within that activity. Because a lot of people mean well, a lot of people do, but because of the conditioning, they are circling back to serving Eurocentricism. Okay, so that's the first question, and then one takes it from there. Um, my question is, uh, with your organization and the spiritual mindset that I have, does your organization teach the same uh, as the Bible when it comes to the Heavenly Father and stuff like that? Excellent question, excellent question. When you talk about quote-unquote organization, like we said, organization in the context of Akabula is we, Ubuntu. I am because you are, you are because we are, okay? When we talk about the Bible, mm -hmm. when we talk about the Quran, when we talk about the Sanskrit, when we talk about the Torah, you have to understand a lot of people do know scripture biblical scripture but they don't know biblical history right a lot of people right. know quranic scripture but they don't know quranic history yeah. a lot of people know sanskritian scripture but they don't know sanskritian what <laughs> we have to understand that the falsehood that have been um, stated that people of Al Kabulan, which the narrative is black people or Africans, involved themselves in the trade of other Africans. How many have heard that? Mm -hmm. They were involved in the slave trade, right? Yeah. How many have heard that? <laughs> now, would you believe a thief <coughs> who has stolen <laughs> to tell you the truth? <laughs> Real. The first thing you have to understand is somebody who engages in an activity that is out of the norm of the people is first not part of the people. Mm. Because they have to be, have been taken out of their minds. Like, would America government consider Timothy McVeigh an American? No. Yeah. 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 No. Those people who went to shoot at the Fort Pierce and for all those um, what do you call it? Um, army base station or military base station? Are they considered patriots? No. That is the first thing that was done to people who primarily degenerate, who primarily contributed. They were Islamized in the Arabic context of Islam, and they were Christianized in the European context of Christianity. Then. They were put into the society to primarily infiltrate certain things. The same thing, and now I'm talking history. 
You don't have to agree with it. Once again, if you're looking to help situations, you have to understand mm -hmm. the backdrop. Religion has been used as an infiltrator of reconditioning of a people. If you go to the scripture of any book I can quote to you, there is a conditioning factor that tells you how to behave as a subservient. And if you talk about God being an endorser of the chosen people, then that God is a big If you talk about God being an endorser of a murdering of people, then that God is an accessory to murder. So when you talk about faith, that is Al Kabulan. Al Kabulan speaks of faith, that is spirituality. Spirituality is, I am not afraid of what you understand, I mean, what you believe. But what I want to know is whether you understand what you believe and how that can contribute to my journey. You see, a lot of people believe, but they don't understand what they believe. And that, my friends, is your religion. Oh, one more question. No? Uh, we don't have time for one more question. I encourage you all to go ahead and get Dr. AK's card. Again, he said you want to talk to him. You can go to the BMW network. He is awesome. He's a very busy man. Again, he's running a school to help change the minds of America, black America, that is. So again, Dr. AK, I appreciate your presence here and uh, for educating and renewing our thought process. I look forward